Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, I will be proving Wallace's superiority in how much more skilled at manufacturing he is than the big NASA. Now first, I'm actually going to be comparing the efficiency of both of their rockets. Now, I will be showing you two clips and I want you to just compare the amount of wasted energy in forms such as heat and light in these rockets and actually the amount of destruction that NASA's rocket creates. Now you've seen that, you saw how much smoke was created, how much fire, how much of all that. Now I just want you to witness the incredible efficiency of Wallace's beautiful rocket. Now wasn't that just such a clean and just beautiful takeoff right there? I'm just going to show you another clip of it taking off. That time, even after being sabotaged, it still it flew so straight, so marvelously, so beautifully. Maybe it's just Wallace's expertise as a pilot. In fact, there's another thing. NASA, which needs to employ probably thousands, maybe just hundreds of people. It's got to have designers, ground nonsense people, and pilots. You see Wallace and, of course, Gromit do it all. Like... Jeez, our, our crack of fuel genius is just such a beast, such a professional. He's just, he must have such a high IQ, very high IQ. Next, I'm also actually going to say the space efficiency. Now, if you compare the two, Wallace's rocket is an awful lot smaller, alright? Now, a Saturn V, which is used to get to the moon, is one. 111 meters tall. I just keep that in your head. I don't have a set value for Wallace's rocket. However, I could work this out with a bit of a bit of digging around. You see, I found this picture of Wallace's rocket in his cellar, and this picture of Wallace in his cellar. Now we know that Wallace is 160 centimeters tall. So we put the images together. We can actually roughly work out that the rocket is just under five meters tall. All right, yeah, five compared to 111. Now, that is 22 times the height of Wallace's rocket. And that's if we're being on the conservative size, it's probably more like 23. And Wallace's, Wallace's rocket is also a lot more spacious, so it could probably hold, uh, let's say five people. However, the NASA rocket can only hold two, and that is actually in a lot more discomfort as they are strapped in a seat. However, Wallace has a nice wallpapered room with furniture and entertainment such as cards. However, what I think is the most important thing in space travel, and the thing that Wallace's rocket outshines the weedy NASA space rockets the most is actually speed. Now, actually the top speed, the highest speed of a Saturn V, this is without payload as well, 17.2 kilometers a second, right? Remember that. One for the I can work out with the time it took and the distance from the Earth to the Moon Wallace's rocket, 2,496 kilometers a second, oh. cutting a several hour journey Nicely into only a matter done. of minutes, and also meaning Wallace's rocket is 145 times as fast as that puny NASA rocket. Now, thank you for watching this video. I mean, I, ho I hope it proved that Wallace is just as skilled 
as he seems, which I mean, of course you already knew that, but yeah, just to hit in the points, those idiots that think that Wallace is not very big brain. Yeah, Wallace, most skilled man alive, huge IQ. Let's be honest, it's probably a god. See you later, goodbye. Oh, oh. nicely done, 